actually wanted to show you, you know, again, how the disc brakes look. Pretty bad. It's my old seal. Looks like it's original. Um, what else? Yeah, and this is the old differential mount. It's gonna be changed too. You could probably, it would probably live uh, a long time if I reinstall it, but I have a new one. So that's garbage. Now, going back to my axles. This is the new axle that came with the car. So, I'm assuming it's good, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use this axle too. This is the axle that was broken, and I'm probably gonna get rid of it. I'm not gonna use it because I tried to move the joints and they're like really stiff and sticking and stuff. So, probably gonna get rid of that and just use those two. And on this guy, I'm gonna probably replace those boots. So, that's gonna be the plan. And this is the rear cover off of the diff. It's gonna get cleaned up also. Outside and inside. So what I'm doing now is, uh, uh, as you see that actually, yeah, I put, uh, I didn't have any rags, but I put just clean gloves in there for now, so to keep it out of dirt. And uh, right now I'm just still working on my uh, sway bar links. Uh, just wanna remove them now, because they're junk. Alright, so and you can see the parking brake is removed, but it was a pain in the ass. <clears throat> I'm honestly not sure how I'm going to be putting um, the parking brake back. Is <laughs> This uh, hub is just in the way. And now I'm just trying to disconnect the parking brake cable itself. And there's two bolts, one here one on the bottom that's holding this whole like thing in place. So, and it's an Allen. And it was just sitting right there so honestly saying it's you can't really like um you can barely you know, like take it off i mean honestly this is the tool that i came up with that i had to use so i had to go through the through this hole and have to feed the tool over there and this way i was able to loosen and remove these two bolts so luckily they didn't strip Otherwise, you have to probably pull the bearing and pull the hub in order to do that. And uh, I could disconnect the parking brake, like, you know, and where it, basically where it connects to the main uh, cable uh, in the middle of the chassis, but I didn't want to do that. So instead of that, I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to try to disconnect it here. Okay, so it's getting dark. Um, you know, I thought that I was going to be able to remove the spring without the compressor, but it looks like it's not possible. So right now I have the compressor installed. I did remove the shock before removing the, you know, I had to remove the seats. Um, and my sway bar link is removed. So right now I just, uh, I'm undoing that spring. It's almost out of the way. And, uh, yeah, but I had to compress it like pretty much a lot. So I'll take this out and uh, we'll see what's next. Uh Quick, um, my progress. This is the new spring that I installed and I also painted it on the top so it doesn't rust. Uh, in the future and then I just installed the parking brakes and it's kind of a pain in the ass to install these because on this hub as you can see there's no like access holes pretty much so when I was putting these uh, shoes back I started with the uh, with that lower spring and then when I had that on I installed that that spring right there and I put this adjuster in here and then at the end I'm gonna show you how basically I installed these uh, hold down springs. Is what you need to do. You need to um, 
grab the big flathead screwdriver and you have to go right here and you have to basically you're gonna have your spring loosely right here and then you're gonna push on that spring and then uh, it's gonna go in basically you're gonna find it eventually so yeah it took me a little bit to figure it out um, but it's possible to do that without removing the wheel bearings or anything like that to get access to it so I'm gonna clean the shoes up a little bit from the from my hands from my greasy hands and um, actually uh, this is the shock and uh, as you know I'm not replacing the shocks on this car because they're still good so I'm gonna saving this one just uh, painting it a little bit cleaning it up um, and uh, yeah after that I'll just uh, probably install this waiver link and uh, the disc brake but my axles are not ready yet so I'm not gonna rush and putting back the calipers or anything like that so. okay now I have the suspension pretty much as high as possible I lift it up and I'm just putting this uh, shock absorber through right there so I have to lift it up and put the bolts on the top and on the bottom I'm doing the same thing on the other side just remove this uh, old spring I'm gonna clean this area up, maybe coat it with some paint. I'm gonna put new spring. The shock is still good. It's original Mercedes. Uh, and I'm gonna use that. And after that, I'm gonna probably replace swayboard links. And also, I gotta do the parking brakes on this guy on this side. New spring is compressed and ready to go back on the car. As you can see, I removed the parking brake hardware already. This is the old one. I'm gonna be putting a new one on. Same as I did on that side. New spring is installed. And again, like I mentioned, you have to use the spring compressor. There's no other way. So right now I still have this supported. I'm gonna put the shock back in. I'm gonna start working on this guy. Spring is painted. So the parking brake shoes and the hardware is done on this side too. Spring and shock is all back together. All right. The same thing was done to the other side, as you know. And then next thing is uh, probably gonna. Wait right now, I have to uh, rebuild my axles and uh, after I put the axles in, I'm going to put the sway bar link and all that stuff and then the 